St. Anthony's is obviously very, very good, and they've been good for years. Uh, but you can't talk about New Jersey basketball without talking about Camden High School. Until we come together as a team, until we start to listen to my coaches, this is what's going to happen. Y'all don't, y'all play like punks. We can't teach hard. Now we just threw South Jersey on our back because we're representing South Jersey tonight. Purple, purple, purple. One, two, three. Ah. You know, you walk into that gym, there's a lot of history in... 42nd sectional title. The 11 or 12 state championships. The only thing the media has came to number one is crime, that's it. Us against the world. Before there was any Michael Jordan and those guys, you know, Kevin Walls was like... Dowdy, 6'7", Derek Ramsey, 6'6", six, six, and Art still. Any big time dunk that Lou brought to the table. Milt Wagner's. Dewan Wagner played here, leading scorer all time. Vic Harstar. Bill Thompson here. And Ryan Nitchy Smith from Camden High. You know, that's paying homage right there to, to the greats who, who walk, walk through those doors. I was always told that these, these athletics, they were a vehicle to help me better get to where I was trying to go. Camden's a story program. Right? Yeah. And it did, you know, Coach Alfano and, and Clarence Turner did a great job there. Coach Jackson won, yes, with the Juan Wagner's team. Starter stepped down last year and and this year we have uh, Coach Bird, who I hope will be here for a while. James Thompson, and I'm the principal of Camden High School. A lot of people perceive Camden to Camden High School to be somewhere that they want to call dangerous or somewhere that uh, you know they, they deem as not fit for their child. Camden fights an image problem all the time. But they want to keep us there. They, they have to keep us dirty. When you hear some of the things that people say, you know, I would feel the same way if I didn't know any better. But on a regular basis, I walk the halls of Camden High School. They're, they're kids just like kids anywhere else. The good things in Camden, they don't, they don't headline as much as the uh, negativity. And the same thing, you know, every city, suburb has its ghetto. And the same thing happened here happens out in, in the suburbs. It's just that out in the suburbs, they, they get brushed under the rug. Coach Turner was like, I know no other coach to me. You know, he was like, the, 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 to me, the greatest motivator that I've ever seen in sports. Like, he could have coached any sport and motivated, because that's just the way he was. But his competitive edge that he had, he instilled that in his teams, and that's what made his teams believe that they can do anything. Good black Ruffled some feathers in his own way, but uh, you know that was his approach, and uh, certainly you couldn't argue with the success he had and the impact he had uh, on generations of young men who have come through and played for this program. We would we would dominate people. I mean, we would just go out and nobody could deal with Camden High School. Canada High used to have a lore and a mystique. When they walked in the gym, the other team already knew they were going to lose. You know, when you, when you see the, the purple and gold come out, it strikes a little fear in your heart. And teams, state officials did whatever they could to try, to, to try and thwart us from getting to our goals. One of the better teams didn't get a chance at all. A kid named Greg Ball was on that team. He, he, could, he, he could fill it up. suspension stem from a brawl and therefore they only played 17 ball games a year ago. The father of Mike Gilchrist, kid, junior, yeah, yeah, he was my uh, backcourt partner. One of the greatest high school players in the nation played at Camden High. Number one ball player in the country. I remember the first day of practice, it was, you know, it was like the first day of school. In the beginning, I they were like, you know, they didn't know where we would be. I said if Camden had one high school, we'd probably dominate uh, every sport in, uh, in New Jersey. Well, Camden has, has always been the basketball school. We've always been the football school. Yeah, we 
would have been everything. We would have been everything except somebody <laughs> getting locked up and killed.